But wait, there's more. So earlier today I did a video about how the NFL is releasing clips from war rooms and the LA Rams offered the Jets pick 52 in the second round to come up from 19 to 10. The Jets turned that down. They ended up swapping with Minnesota for some, you know, day three capital and they get fashion new. Love it. I'm fine with them turning that down. I think even in even before we got Olu, just as a mock draft situation, I probably would have said no to that as a armchair GM. But they just re released another clip where the Rams really upped the ante. They called the Jets back at 11, uh, and they offered not only pick 52, but also a third round pick to come up from 19 to 11 while asking the Jets to kick in a six rounder in return. Um, I mean, <laughs> that probably would have been tough to turn down, but uh, I guess it just comes down to the Jets really liked Olu Fashionu, is what I imagine the case would be, and they probably didn't want to risk losing out on what they felt was a blue chip prospect. And then if you look at how the rest of, you know, 11 to 19 went, a lot of talent comes off the board. Obviously, Fuaga and Mims, the two next tackles are gone. The Jets reportedly had an issue with Fontenot's medical with his knee, the tackle from Washington. So those are, and now the next tackle you're talking about, like Jordan Morgan or Guyton guys who we thought maybe could go in the second round. So that's a big drop off from Olu and those guys, at least just with the information we have now as prospects. And then as pass catchers are concerned, Bowers is gone. Um, did somebody say Brock Bowers? Um <laughs> And then the Jets reportedly, Malachi Corley was their fourth highest rated receiver in the drafts. So I guess they didn't have any other first round grades on receivers past the top three. So in a vacuum, yeah, by the points and the value, that trade would have made sense. But for this specific draft, I honestly do understand why the Jets would go ahead and take Olu. And if he becomes the next to Brickershaw Ferguson, you know, we, we won't really care, but it would have been fun, especially as the, the mock drafter in me, man, when you get those extra uh, picks and you still could have gotten like Corley and then maybe, I don't know, like another safety or a guard. Uh, would have been nice, but again, if Olu is who they think he's going to be, then we won't care. Interesting, and we'll talk all soon.